Hello friends, my name is Bree and welcome to that Iowa homestead. As you can guess from the title and my thumbnail, my seed orders have come in and I'm super excited to share them with you. I ordered from three different companies. The first place that I ordered seeds from is Seed Savers Exchange. This is a company that's located in Decorah, Iowa. And so since I am from Iowa, I really wanted to make sure that I ordered something from them. I actually received their seed catalog after I did my seed catalog video. I was not expecting to receive this catalog, but it was a very pleasant surprise. So I'm happy to include them in this video. The next company that I ordered from is Botanical Interests. I have seen them um, on other YouTube channels and I'm excited to give them a try this year. And last but not least is Baker Creek. You guys know that I'm a fan of Baker Creek, so of course they will be included in this video for sure. So I thought I would divide this uh, video by company. Uh, full disclosure, I have not seen the contents of these packages except for the Seed Savers Exchange one because this one was in an envelope and I did destroy the envelope <laughs> upon opening so I did catch a little bit of a glimpse about what was in here. So since this one is exposed, I thought we could go ahead and start with them. Okay, so the first thing that I got from the Seed Savers Exchange is Lemon Balm. I really want to make sure that I have more herbs in and around my property, so lemon balm is a good place to start. Then I got Aunt May's bib lettuce. This, the description of this was really good. A butterhead lettuce bursting with bright green leaves that tolerates both cold and heat. I love butterhead lettuce and the fact that it tolerates cold and heat, love it. So I'm definitely trying this one this year. Then, we have the Bullnose Bell. This is one that was on my list of things that I needed for this year and Seed Savers Exchange had it, so this is where I got it. Amish Paste Tomato. I told myself that I would try out um, a paste variety this year. I have not grown one thus far and this one seems to be highly recommended. So that one's going in my garden this year too. And then last but not least is the orange bell pepper. This one was also on my list of things that I needed to purchase this year. Seed Savers Exchange had it. All right, next company we're gonna dive into is Botanical Interests. Uh, I'm a sucker for packaging and they did great on this packaging. So let's dive in, shall we? Oh, that's cute. I gotta find somewhere to put this. That is cute. I love it. Happy growing. Oh, they sent me a, oh, that's cool. They sent me a sunflower seed packet as a thank you. It says, thank you for choosing botanical interests seed. By planting for pollinators, our busy little friends can keep the cycle of plant life rolling. Tall, bright sunflowers provide pollen and nectar for bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. And in fall, protein-rich seeds for songbirds. You experience all that is possible when you start with a seed. That's awesome. That's super cool. Love it. <laughs> they would put this one on top. So if you remember in my seed catalog video, when I stumbled across this pepper, I was super excited when I saw it. It's the candy cane chocolate cherry sweet pepper. Uh, that looks lovely. <laughs> I'm super excited to put this in my garden this year. All right, next thing up in this box is the Contender Bush Bean. Um, I believe this was also on my list of needs this year. And I went with Botanical Interests. All right, Botanical Interests also had the Buttercrunch Head Lettuce that I wanted. So, um... Super excited to have this back in my garden. Can't wait to get it planted. This one I was really excited about. I think it looks just lovely. This is the Marvel of Four Seasons Butterhead Lettuce. I am 
ready to try this one. This one looks absolutely lovely. All right, we got the Little Gem Mini Romaine Lettuce. I saw this and I was very intrigued. The back of this says, this heat tolerant English heirloom is a small variety of romaine with the soft velvety texture of a butter head. The heads are a petite six inches tall and four inches wide, the perfect size for an individual, individual dinner salad. The tender blanched heart is ideal for any recipe that calls for hearts of romaine. Baby greens in only 20 days, this packet sews up to 57 feet. Love it. Love it. All right, next we have yellow sweet Spanish Utah onion. I saw this and it looked pretty good to me. I was wanting to get um, a new onion variety. It wasn't necessarily on my list of needs, but um, yeah, I'm happy that I got this. I'm excited to try it. We'll see how it goes. All right, up next we have the Matador spinach. Um, I have not grown spinach as of yet, so this would be a very welcome addition to my garden this year. Oh, this this one I was really excited about. Okay, so this is the Glacier Bush Tomato. Um, if I remember correctly, this said that this tomato tolerates colder weather. Yeah, it says right here on the front. Enjoy the sweetness of summer from spring to fall. Extremely cold tolerant variety from Sweden. Produces great tasting fruits earlier than other varieties. Uh, so that's super interesting to me. And it says semi-determinant type. Hmm, interesting. Either way, that's extremely appealing to me. Okay, then chamomile. Like I said, I wanna put more herbs out in my garden. I think um, this may end up going up front in my pollinator garden area. All right, and that is it for botanical interests. Like I said before, I am a sucker for packaging and Baker Creek never fails. <laughs> um, this year it looks like they are promoting their Chinese pink celery on their packaging. I love it, love it. So, oh, I love it. Gosh, they just never disappoint with their packaging. Uh, they have two, they, there's two of them in here. Oh, they do both say the same thing. Um, it says, they got this wrapped around probably, I don't know, six or eight seed packets each. Smile, you've got seeds. And then on the back it says, happy growing. <laughs> Love it, super cute. Okay, let's pop one of these open and take a look. All right, so this was on my list of needs this year, and this is the cayenne long thin pepper. Definitely much needed. Oh, here's my free seed. Cool. I've seen these before, but I've not, I've not grown them. Looks like I got spoon tomatoes for my free seed packet. Awesome. All right, here's the classic beefsteak tomato that I ordered. That looks like it'll be really good. All right, I also ordered the Dr. Witchy's yellow tomato. I've heard so many people rave about this tomato, so I decided to add it to my collection this year. Now, this one, I got the West Indies red habanero pepper. You know, I love my peppers. And this one just looked super intriguing to me, so. Yeah. Okay. I replaced my Gustave's salad lettuce that I had. If you remember the lettuce container catastrophe that I had <laughs> during my seed collection video. Yeah. It's back. We're good. <laughs> oh, good. Last one in this little package is um, the Mary Washington asparagus. I am Definitely ready to get an asparagus patch going somewhere out there. I kind of have an idea of where I want it to go, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll keep you posted. All right, let's open the other one. 
first in this one is lavender again going back to I really want to have more herbs in and around my property um, this one will probably also go up front in my pollinator garden area oh I got another free seed awesome okay so this one is uh, the Saint Valerie carrot looks like a nice little carrot let's let's read a very old French variety handsome large bright red orange 10 to 12 inch roots smooth sweet and tender our favorite okay awesome I could definitely give this one a try it looks like a nice little classic carrot love it all right, I replaced my jalapenos. I got the Craig's Grande jalapeno. This one looks really good to me. Oh, and I got two of those. Can never have enough jalapenos in my opinion. Ooh, next I got two King of the North bell peppers. I believe that these were also in the Seed Savers seed catalog, if I remember correctly. Um, but I went with Baker Creek to get these, so I'm stocked up on those. <sighs> and, you know, I got to have something, something different in there. So I saw this and I just could not make myself pass this up. This is the Zulu pepper. It is a black bell pepper. Isn't that just lovely? It says on the back, a unique, tasty, and beautiful Polish variety. This eggplant colored pepper is crisp with thin flesh. This sweet pepper is sure to please. I'm already pleased and I haven't even planted it yet. <laughs> I am, oh, I cannot wait to see this growing on the vine out there. That's gonna be so cool. I love it. All right, friends, that is my seed haul. I am ready for seed starting and I cannot wait to share that process with you. <laughs> Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button down below so you're notified of all my upcoming videos. Thank you for coming with me today. I'll see you soon.